Why do they? Why does the Supreme Court feel they need protection from the people if they're doing their job? <laughs> Supreme Court hobbles challenges by inmate based on poor legal representation. This is a very shocking article to read because it's true. It's 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 one of those things where it's like. Could you imagine being in jail? There are, there are many people, 16% of people on death row who are black are found innocent after the fact. That means that our government, which is f notorious for never share, never equally distributing anything, right? Our, 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 our established horrific government that has never just been good at getting people to, I don't know, be okay with an unjust just system is going to say that hey if you do manage to find a way of correcting us on the federal level we're not going to acknowledge any new evidence that's what this is basically all about the supreme court basically ruling that new evidence cannot be used if in an appeal if it wasn't part of the foundational evidence not even to talk about like the the leaps and bounds that have happened in the last 10 years with evidence and trace analysis and data analysis, a lot of people wouldn't be free right now if it wasn't for DNA evidence. They used to send people to jail for having teeth marks in bitings, in teeth marks in sandwiches, and compare those to um, teeth marks in a victim. They were used to send people to jail for comparing hair hair follicle analysis. And they, and when given to an expert, he couldn't discern the difference between a black woman's hair. And a black sheep's uh, a wool uh, a black sheep's hair follicle. It's it's madness, and it's one of those things where it's just like all they're trying to do is prevent inmates from suing the government. It's greed. It's money. It's because of money that they're not going to let just do this. But you know what? The Supreme Court, the Supreme Court has no problem asking for money when it comes to their lives, because the House passes Supreme Court security bill after weeks of Dems obstruction. And this is the part, this is the part that is like mind boggling to me. The Democrats will sit here and tell us we can't get any laws or any legislation passed. How did this get passed? In the House. How did this get passed? Who jumped ship to help the Supreme Court that is currently trying to rip up Roe v. Wade? Why do they why does the Supreme Court feel they need protection from the people if they're doing their job? The, and this is like this is the weak intoxicating thing about like and this is why I've never been a team player. This is why I don't like group activities. This is why I don't like working with other people because when it comes down to it people when the when the it's time for your balls to hit the pavement, people not going to let their nuts drag. Why are we so soft and submissive as Democrats? It's crazy to me that this was something that Mitch McConnell, the racist turtle, said on a stand and less than a week later the, is passing the House. The Senate passed this bill by voice vote, by voice vote, May 9th, amid threats to justice after leaks of draft opinion indicating the court could overturn Roe v. Wade, which might be coming down tomorrow. The bill initially sponsored by Senator John Corny, Corna, Corny, and Chris Coons, a Democrat, it's just crazy, but I mean, it's, it's in the name, right? It's just like, and this is like what I'm saying, healthcare bills, gun reform bills, you know, all those other bills, oh, we can't pass them. But this passed in less than a week. Do I think the Supreme Court deserves to have extra security? No. Fuck them. I'm eager to know the border agents. Okay, so this was something else that happened throughout the week that was kind of weird to me. But the, basically, the border agents in America with, have now been given the ability to basically, within 100 miles of um, a border go into any house and search any house and arrest anybody uh, as it pertains to border security. And this was allowed to them by the the Supreme Court, which has just been on a tangent lately. 
And I just want you to take a, a, a look at this map that shows the cities within 100 miles. You know, Chicago, Milwaukee, Houston, L.A., San Fran, uh, Washington, D.C. Every major city is within the border, 100 miles a border, maybe giving it a discount for Dallas, Oklahoma. But who cares about those places? The thing that's really concerning about this is that we can't hold them accountable for anything. So they could literally break into your house, ransack your place leave it trashed and because of qualified immunity they'll get away with it and if there is and if they do happen to tread on your amendments you can't sue them directly now so once again it comes down to money the supreme court is making it impossible for the government to pay out citizens for the government treading on the citizens freedoms rights and amendments and we and and this is something that republicans were praying to get this this Republican leaning court, Supreme Court, and it does it is yet to benefit them. It is yet to benefit anybody who voted Republican. And that's okay. And if your whole goal was to stop a uh, stop a uh, Roe v. Wade, congratulations. How does this help you? Why can't we hold the people who break the law accountable?